all right hello everyone and now welcome to game two in the series gonna go ahead and speed things up just a little bit as we will be getting game this game underway on the top left hand side of the map we have u2 sock spawning as the blue human player meanwhile light blues spawning as look or look around spawning as light blue this is well you guys already know by looking at the title who is going to be playing here but once again um, I don't know who is who just because they decided to uh, make things very, very difficult for um, Wow, uh, very, very difficult for me. Hawk and Emailfon. All right, let's go ahead and head back across over here as yeah, Hawk and Emailfon. Have I been saying this the names wrong this entire time? Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down for you. It is going to be an Archmage versus Archmage mirror match once more. Archmage picking up a Circuit of Nobility. And Terranus Stand is a map that you can easily get to level 2 on. We'll see if that is going to be the difference here once more as early mana, early water elementals are very, very important as we're looking at a Manual of Health that is definitely going to be picked up and now making our way back down over here to finish off this this group of apprentice wizards apprentice wizards are uh, dealing a fair bit of damage as we now see the last apprentice wizard here well there it goes gonna get taken down mantle of intelligence a very very useful item as it will give plus three damage and also 45 additional mana and at this stage 45 additional mana will help tremendously archmage on the other hand off over here has circlet of nobility and is already at 360 mana so somehow getting in a little bit more mana over his opponent perhaps by picking oh no actually a little bit less yeah that man, that does make sense as the archmage now looking to clear up the kobo geomancers militia and the remaining units here now what's the archmage going to be doing attempting to take down the mud golems kobo taskmasters and these kobo geomancers in the corner are we also going to be looking at troll shadow priests which are very very important in this matchup if you want to use that abolished magic early on tome of agility being left behind if this may actually give level three to the archmage just barely is it going to do it um, no j not just barely so 464 needs a little bit more as the archmage off over here is it at 464 as well we may try and see him clear out these creep camps to try and set up an expansion all right it looks as though the archmage running off to the north picking up all the good items from every which corner this is going to be a very very easy creep camp to clear as the footman is going to look to try and finish off this peasant here this peasant is going to take a fair bit of damage um just trying to escape and yeah there you have it oh you can see now a forest troll berserker being brought in as well as he is trying to escape meanwhile back down over here clearing of the creep camps as the archmage is looking for where his opponent could possibly be sees that his opponent is not down over here and now knows that his opponent is most likely off to the north in this position now what is going to be happening forest troll shadow priest healing up the remaining units very very low, a low hit point footman now trying to perhaps regroup off of here attempting to take down a forest troll berserker this forest troll berserker just did not know what was coming as a final fireball does take him out not attempting to go after that scout farm though as it looks as though we will be building up a rather fast arcane tower to follow things up all right one low hit point footman quickly taken out and this archmage with plus 14 strength that is a very, very high number indeed. Plus 14 strength. That Archmage can pretty much tank any bit of damage. 925 hit points at level 3. Um, compared to 575. So that is the significant difference there. You can see that the Archmage is just not going to end up falling. And we could actually have the blue Archmage perhaps try and feign that he is low on hit points all right wand of mana stealing quickly used there can drop another water elemental here in just a second and yeah the color is just making this very very difficult here footman with defend against footman without as we are now waiting for this arcane tower to finish all right it looks as though one piercing or the water mental is now being dropped into play are we going to see this one get taken out yes another footman was taken down there peasants automatically repairing archmage not getting up to level uh, next level himself oh uses a potion of mana in order to get back up enough mana to drop a water elemental that takes down the arcane tower nice usage there as that arcane tower would have been 
um, completed in just a moment. Meanwhile, let's take a look. More and more Water Elemental is trying to turn around and fight. It looks like, are we going to see? Yes, that Water Elemental will get taken down. And it looks like, wow, that Forest Troll Shadow Priest. So any day, any unit now is extremely difficult to try and well, um, try and survive at this point. Everyone losing a lot more units than I expect. And blue water elementals with clue with colors such as light blue and blue. Very difficult to spot. Um, nearly impossible to spot, actually, as the peasants now looking to build a town hall. That may end up getting canceled as one water elemental down to eight hit points does get taken out. Another water elemental off over here. The peasant trying to get away. Will it be able to get away? I'm not 100% sure. No, decides to stop to build a tower, and that will end up getting itself into even more trouble. Now, what is still... Yep, 1,000 hit points, uh, nearly 1,000 hit points. There goes that water elemental there. Archmage can head back off to the north. Meanwhile, we are looking at, no surprise, a panda. But then again, um, the panda, in order to deal breath of fire across all of these low hit point footmen, and because the expansion is in play, you would assume that your opponent is going to be staying longer at tier 1. The longer they are at tier 1, the stronger and more influential that panda can be as the footmen are primarily going to be the main units constantly being trained. All right, there is a breath of fire coming across multiple units there. Footmen trying to engage. All right, maybe the footmen should turn around and perhaps be dealing damage to the other remaining units here. Not quite sure why they are not doing exactly that. As you see, a breath of fire do does go down. All right, one low hit point. Footmen able to escape. Meanwhile, the... The attacks are still coming in very, very heavily as the units are still trying to get away. A little bit of slow. Abolish magic right there. Units trying to get away, and it looks like they will be able to do exactly that. And this Archmage is, well, this Archmage is nearly level 5. What's going to be happening next? All right. Still continuing the fight here more and more. Water Elementals, not quite. Blue versus Light Blue, level 5 now on that Archmage as level 3 Water Elementals hitting the field before the 9-minute mark. Level 3 Water Elementals, 35 damage on on no, 45 damage on average, as the units are now still in a bit of a run. It looks like that footman will be able to escape, and I don't, I can't believe the number of low hit point footmen that have survived all of these battles so far. All right, one scouting footman is running or trapping himself into a corner. He knows that he most likely will not be able to get out. Priests are now joining in, but it's also gonna force the light blue to try and fight from inside a little a, a little alcove here which is not a good spot all right let's continue this fight here a priest now continuing to heal they're trying to get back into the very very far backfield away from those water elementals and that amazing piercing damage you can see what exactly is happening there as you can see bang right there another one getting taken out all right priest continuing to run back Let's take a look at it. Still more fighting. Archmage is still sitting at level 5 with level 2 Water Element or level 2 Brilliant Aura. Able to drop down plenty of Water Elementals. And I think Blue, not Light Blue, Blue is going to come out ahead. He has the expansion. He has the economic advantage. And with a level, f um, level 5 Archmage being able to continually drop Water Elementals, you can see right there that, that Sorceress pretty much doesn't have a chance to try and survive. All right, Footman turning around, trying to survive. It's not going to be able to stick around for very long. And this Archmage is now getting extremely close to level 6. Level 6 Archmage does mean mass teleport. A lot of low hit point footmen. Are we going to see an Arcane Vault here? Yes, we are. And they are all going to heal back up pretty much to full hit points. This Water Elemental could even just stop, turn around. Well maybe off at this point stop turn around and start engaging in some damage as it does have plenty of life all right archmage coming over let's wait for the heal there you have it there is the scroll of regeneration clarity potion as well and picking up one more clarity potion as an additional measure as we're going to be waiting for what may be a very important fight 
Water Elementals engaging here. Are they going to perhaps get some damage across? No, not getting any damage across. Just getting slowed right there. And now trying to retreat back. Archmage is... Um, what? I thought he had enough mana. And using another Clarity Potion may have to figure out what to do to follow this up. As this Water Elemental is a little bit slow. There is another Water Elemental right there. And now there is the engagement. Purposely trying to wall off his opponent's... And any sorts of any source of or possibility of escape, he is now able to slip through there. Now instead being forced to walk around this entire human army, and this is extremely important. Um, the priests, all the priest and the sorceress all have unarmored body types, so they are taking extra damage from not only the water elementals but these forest troll berserkers. All right, let's take a look at this panda now looking to escape. Archmage off over here, seeing that level 5 as well. More priests rejoining in on the fight as the lines are just beginning to blur. Who's going to come out ahead as th that sorceress should end up getting taken down? There it goes as this sorceress, or the Archmage, almost at level 6 now. All right, we're going to see a bit of an engagement. Arcane Towers finishing off and dealing significant bits of damage. And la Mass Teleport, oh, why not finish off that footman? That would essentially give you mass teleport, but instead turning around, getting the priest who turned around and walked in the wrong direction. That is the big problem once more as we have another scroll of regeneration and clarity potion. All right. Heading over to the top right, Archmage sitting at level 5. Panda sitting at level 2. Picks up gloves of haste and will clear out this expansion location. Now making sure that nothing is... well. The reveal came off from here, most likely to see if there's an expansion there. He knows economically speaking, he is quite all right. As we're looking at the Archmage, wondering where he can get that last bit of experience to get mass teleport and just be a very, very high, uh, high annoying champion or hero, being able to be pretty much everywhere at once. Is the Archmage going to find a free and easy kill? That is the big question there. Archmage can drop a Water Elemental here. And is he going to drop a Water Elemental here? That's the question. Yes, does drop a Water Elemental trying to focus down a Sorceress. And it looks as though that Sorceress may end up getting taken down. No, not taken down. Still more engaging as this Water Elemental may get taken down. That may give level 3 to the Panda. And wow, instead of his level six ultimate ability we now see panda getting up to level three which is a higher level of breath of fire two water elementals splashing down at the same time as we are now looking to engage right here all right trying to finish this off not going to get taken out as the archmage of look around the light blue human going to try and put pressure down over here is it going to be able to finish off any of these units footmen do not have defend why would you not have the fend at this point as this water elemental may get taken down oh there it goes as the archmage now getting higher in level all right there's a breath of fire arcane tower is now feeding back a little bit of damage onto the panda level six now onto the archmage so mass teleport is in play but right now is not the time to be using it is he going to be able to teleport away with any significant units yes teleports away back over here take some peasants with him i don't know if he really wanted to take those peasants with him as they are now down over here Panda still seeing that level 2, and this is still a big problem. No scroll of town portal, no healing, and this might be the end right here as the Panda is just going to get so much free experience. Now coming back the other way, here we go. There's the engagement. Archmage, Water Elementals, all fighting. Panda does not have mana. That is the big issue. If it did, the Breath of Fires would be coming in very, very heavily. As we can see, the fighting still engaging down over here. All right. Water Elemental still continuing the fight back. Now, we are looking at Peasants looking to get back onto that gold mine line and continue to use that economic advantage provided by this expansion. So far, Spellbreakers now cleaning up a whole bunch of casters down over here. And the sheer number of casters coming in from white may be the issue. Too many casters and not enough safe footmen to try and deal with the spellbreakers that are now just eating through this line here. All right, spellbreaker. Um, spellbreaker now trying to constantly get feedback damage here. Let's take a look back around. We are now looking at the water elementals doing a little bit of chase, focusing down, um, focusing down more units. Are we going to perhaps see some? Yes, there's some dispel magic again. Another one going to get taken down, but the sorceress does get taken out as well. The projectile was in the air. All right. 
straight up engagements back and forth by both sides not really trying to get positions not really not trying to get in the flanks here and both sides losing a lot of units um, and normally at this point by the sheer amount of gold um, gold harvested you would expect larger armies but both of them spending a lot of their resources on maintenance and replacement of units as opposed to st uh, straight up training it does look like, well, that Breath of Fire does melt away many of those hit points there. Is it going to continue to happen? That Panda, very, very low on hit points or low on mana. If he can turn around, that would be a big deal to get to, well, come on. What is the cooldown time on Breath of Fire? I thought it was a little bit easier than that. Are we going to see that? No, what, what? Nope. Leaving a 14 hit point um, footman alone, apparently, is a good idea. Back down across over here. Water Elemental attempting to take down an Arcane Tower does exactly that. Could take down a, a Footman or some other unit as we now have Mass Teleport heading back over here. Mass Teleport, both sides with Teleport able to constantly fight. So anything you can do, I can do better seems to be the MO as the Mass Teleport into the base causing problems. Scroll of Town Portal in order to get away. Spellbreakers, Breath of Fire taking down even more units. And wow, that was a significant loss there. Buying a new Scroll of Town Portal, having a new Clarity Potion, perhaps trying to get some heals off as well, as we are now going into Tier 3 Castle. Tier 3 Castle already reached by the Blue Human Player, as we are now reaching, or perhaps trying to get back over here to the top right just to try and protect that expansion. No upgrades on the Spellbreakers on either side. Meanwhile... Arcane Tower is being reproduced once again, 58 over 72 compared to 55 over 66. The primary or the secondary heroes, level four and level level two and level one. All right, so the Paladin has now made it out onto the field, taking down a quick unit. Are we going to perhaps drop a Water Elemental here? There's the Water Elemental. It's going to turn around, try and fight back as the Footmen get into that front line far too fast. Breath of Fire, dr Drunken Haze onto a lot of the priests who are taking damage over time. We are going to be getting into position. Uh, Spellbreakers purposely backing off right there and also doing some spell steal, trying to remove uh, perhaps any of that slow as the mortar teams now joining in. All right, lots of mortar teams means a big, big issue. And is it going to teleport back? Nope. Spellbreaker d did not uh, or fell far, far too fast at the hands of a Goblin Shredder. Nicely placed there. Goblin Shredder does deal significant damage as we now see the mortar teams just lobbying attacks over. And now may actually be dealing damage back to his own units uh, needlessly. All right. Sp somehow all of these units some stayed alive there as that panda relatively low. Panda seeing that level four continuing this fight up front. There's a breath of fire. Mortar team number one may get taken out. And if mortar teams are taken out, that is going to be a big deal. But the panda just not fast enough to easily catch up to that target. There goes one. As we now see the Archmage now looking to back again once more. All right, still fighting, still teleporting away. This Mortar team down to 20 hit points. Panda trying to get within range. Is it going to be able to get there? No, it is not going to be able to hide inside the base as we could see a mass teleport come in here momentarily. All right, Holy Light saving an Ogre Mauler. Meanwhile, Archmage does uh, well should have enough mana for Mass Teleport here in just a moment. Is he going to be able to get away? That is the big question as the Spellbreakers now come in. And we now see Griffins. All right. Griffins now looking to engage. Scroll of Town Portal heading back off to the north. And that is going to be uh, um, some very, very um, dead units here in just a moment. The Water Elemental going to get taken down. Is it going to give any levels? No, it is not. But two Griffins have joined in on the fight. And those griffins are going to absolutely wreck the knights that are out onto the field. All right. Progressions have been um, going pretty much spot on for a late game human versus human mirror match. We are still looking to figure out who's going to win in this fight as both sides are going to turn around. And here we are going to see the engagement. All right. Breath of Fire. Knight quickly taken. No, knight, that knight not taken down. As you see, damage being added, uh, added around the board. Water Elementals could be turning around perhaps. Spellbreakers, um, Panda, seeing that level 4, Archmage, seeing that level 6, not getting to level 3, Brilliant Aura may be a very big deal, but let's take a look at that Water Elemental just absolutely getting like, getting destroyed right there, as we now see a third, excuse me, third um, Griffin now joining on from the skies, alright, you can see how fast that quickly gets taken and focused down, we are seeing some engagements here, there is Flying Machines joining in as well, Breath of Fire, Spellbreakers in that front line, very, very well protected as the Griffin Riders are going to quickly, quickly focus down 
um, some units. There's a Staff of Preservation. Let's take a look at that. One more shot there onto that flying machine is going to finish it off. Just take it down. There you go. As we now are looking at the Griffin Riders, looking to perhaps focus down some easy targets. What can really stop them? Not much can really stop them, save for those um, any air units so far. All right, Griffins should perhaps be focusing on uh, the flying machines and the knights. If you focus on the flying machines and the knights, that is going to be enough damage um, or enough damage dealt in, that, in terms of that bonus damage to really make a significant difference as the Paladin does not have enough for a Holy Light just quite yet. All right, Griffin Rider flying past some guard towers. Not a very, very smart call there at all. You can see a round of attacks coming in and a quick, quick d defeat on that Arcane Tower giving level two, I believe, to that um, Paladin. The Paladin now going to be able to get perhaps another Holy Light or two off. All right, Griffin's going to... Uh, no, why focus down the Panda? Focus down on the Knights. You can actually take those out in one or two volleys as you now see another Water Elemental taken out. Sometimes it is important to focus on the heroes. Other times it is important to focus on the Knights. And the Knight is, as, uh, is an important threat as well and takes significantly more damage from the Griffins than the other units. All right, let's go ahead and re back off here. We are going to regroup Archmage in a little bit of trouble. Does not have enough mana in order to really fight back here uh, or mass teleport away, excuse me. You can see that the units are now looking to back off. Divine Shield now being brought over and it looks like we are going to have a temporary reprieve from the action. 66 over 72, 72 over 84. And it does look like Look Around is take, starting to take the advantage here. He has a large amount of gold and um, saved up in the bank. Meanwhile, no gold saved up. Not go gold just now starting to be mined once again. As we now see Inner Fire being brought over. All right, Inner Fire. You can see how quickly the knights are going to end up falling there. There goes one. We're going to be seeing some Dispel Magic. Breath of Fire coming in. Flying Machines now coming in from the side. Breath, uh, are, is it going to be able to deal significant damage? Those Griffins do not want to be clumped together. They are taking far too much damage. But now they are able to get in some attacks as well. Panda now sitting at level 5. Look around this Panda at level 5. Breath of Fire blowing down pretty much all of those fly machines in an instant and yes you do not want to clump your units together that is what can happen and that is what did happen the panda breath of fire the play of the game as it looks like the griffins will continue to go unchallenged and um, unless there is a water elemental or a, a spare flying machine flying around all right just take down that please take down that flying machine there you go water elemental finishing off another griffin there staff of or what is that mass teleport now teleporting away where did they go back home they are going to quickly heal back up scroll of regeneration clarity potion already being used brilliance aura now at level three are they going to tele teleport back up to the north that is the big question archmage is very low on mana what's going to be happening here peasants are trying to repair and retrain archmage uh, there now you have it it is going to be able to teleport off to the north and where are they going to land straight up on top of their own units and there is the engagement all right focusing down units very very quickly water elemental now taken down breath of fire seeing um, now coming in flying machines have to be very careful of that panda panda breath of fire still on cooldown as the breath of fire and drunken haze goes across multiple units here all right breath of fire off to the north pretty much almost took down handful of units there goes one flying machine um, more and more flying machines should get taken down here. Not quite sure what's going on, why they are not getting focused down. There they go. As the flying machines now um, are all gone and a handful of griffins are still left in the air as more sorceress have fallen again. Continuing this fight, Panda trying to get away. This one paladin may end up getting surrounded if he's not careful. 15 seconds of invulnerability, just long enough. Another scroll of regeneration and you just take your time at this point plus six damage plus five armor and with this expansion now gone that is going to be the game thanks for watching thanks for listening i believe the series is all tied up at one game apiece